No matter how much some women say that men objectify them, it's about time they reflect on that. They even further complain that men who have a rotation of women and only want sex are evil, but women who sleep around are pretty much role models for the fight against the patriarchy. You might already know that MGTOW is the best philosophy to improve your life as a whole, and I always encourage you to embrace this lifestyle because it's the best preservation method for modern day men. No need to over explain yourself or justify your habits, no need to argue with your partner, and a massive feeling of freedom. If you are a MGTOW, you reject the idea that a woman can solve your problems and prefer staying single and focused on your goals rather than chasing women. That's indeed a very good choice, so keep it up. For the time being though, the cons of dating and finding love outweigh the pros, and there's proof of that both online and in real life. Since we live in a clown world where you can't call a spade a spade, men prefer staying quiet and avoiding the trouble of explaining their choices. As much as some men leave the dating scene altogether without previous notice, Others are bold enough to voice the silent majority of men who have chosen freedom over quote-unquote love. Regardless of today's mass censorship of uncomfortable truths, I'm not here to say that women are all sugar, spice, and all things nice. I prefer the raw truth over comforting lies. If you are a man, chances are that you assumed a long time ago that any defects you may have must be corrected to succeed in society. However, women are increasingly accepted no matter their size, habits, or behavior. It seems that being compassionate towards women is a must, whereas being compassionate towards men is a sin. I'm not even saying that women have no struggles because they do. And it is also true that men have lots of struggles that society deliberately ignores. If a man is broke, that's not acceptable. And if his wife decides to leave him for a better provider, she's praised for her standards. If a man simply rejects a woman because he realizes she's got a certain past, if you know what I mean, some people will strongly criticize him, including some men that can't understand why he rejected a woman with experience in bed. The list goes on and on, and even though modern times do not seem to get more insane, they do. Stick around because you're going to love this one. But before we go deeper, let me share the comment of the day. Now, there were plenty of great comments, so thank you everyone. But shout out to Alex Simmons' comment, I especially enjoyed this. He said, Marriage is like a tornado. In the beginning, there's a lot of blowing and sucking, then you lose your house. You're not wrong, my friend. It's funny because it's clever and sadly true. Tread carefully, folks. Please, Alex, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video, and maybe the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it does help us out a lot. Now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Female promiscuity has never been celebrated right until some ideologies were implemented. Some men still dream of meeting a modest, decent woman that has certain morals and values, but it seems that women like that are very scarce in the West. Some men go abroad to find higher quality, family-oriented women, and others prefer staying single because modern women are unbearable. Before any chick runs her mouth, here's the deal. Men have accepted that they have to improve themselves to get what they want, so a vast majority of them go within when they face failure and any kind of setbacks. If a man gets fired, it's his responsibility to get a new job or improve his money game. A woman going through the same, though, will get a pass just because she's got a certain pair of chromosomes. Double standards are all over the place, and men are sick of that. All the talk of equality some quote-unquote cultural leaders push is a massive scam because it's nothing but an idea. Men, especially MGTOW, love practicality, so getting upset about this is not a good idea. And since you probably love practicality too, 
you know that dating and marrying is another scam that can give you more headaches than anything. Why is dating a scam in the modern world, especially in the West? It's hard to summarize all the reasons in one video, but to make a long story short, just think of the gynocentric legal system, the Me Too movement, false allegations, child support, and overall a climate of hostility towards men for being men. If that's not enough to explain the rise of MGTOW, let me share with you some things you might hear modern women say. Listen up because the decay is only getting worse, but the good news is that you still can do something to protect yourself from it. I'm pretty sure you often come across some TikTok videos here and there, even if you don't use the platform. The system always wants men to be slaves to their desires, including women. Even before the boss bitch narrative became a thing, women wearing few clothes were considered normal. Go outside in any major city and you will hardly avoid ads that use women to promote certain brands. Nowadays, it's gotten even crazier and you can see nude chicks on your phone in under 10 seconds. This concept of instant gratification and we're not even talking about just the hub. Now, while some men hit the hub, others are aware of these mind tricks from the system and don't tolerate anything that damages them. Let me give you another example. Before going my own way, I dated on and off, so I learned quite a lot about female nature. Some women were good girls in the beginning, and I even made the mistake of falling in love with some. I say mistake because a man in love with a woman can't see reality as it is. Getting a distorted view is detrimental and causes any decent man to do and say crazy shit. For example, I invested way too much and made thousands of concessions. No problem though, I learned my lesson. One of these lessons is how women categorize men. Yes, some modern women complain that men want them just for some quick action, aka they're just side chicks, whereas he's got a main chick he's mainly devoted to. Men are hardwired to spread seed and can easily have multiple children if they like. A woman, on the other hand though, can only get impregnated by one man and at a time. The thing is that modern times have legitimized women being promiscuous and even celebrate them when they openly talk about sucking dick. Here's the deal, as much as some men use chicks for sex, some women do in a very organized fashion. Let me explain. I went on a date with a woman I really liked and down the road, I realized how she operated. Remember hypergamy? It boils down to that. This woman told me that she puts men she's interested in two categories, men she would hook up with and men she would date. That was indeed quite shocking and sad to be honest. When I dated this woman by the way, she was 24, so she was wasting her prime playing these stupid games. Anyway, this girl confessed that the guys in the hookup category tend to be hot, namely Chad and Tyrone, but didn't see them as good dating material. Still, many people wonder why women tend to have easier access to intimacy. Plus, the decay of morals is quite astonishing. She probably has some good guys that tick all the boxes in the relationship category, but she makes them wait while she's sleeping around with a bunch of dudes. Thank God I never slept with that woman. Who knows what diseases she's got? Point being, smart men, MGTOWs included, prefer preventing the disease rather than buying the cure. And of course, I mean it both literally and figuratively. Now it's your turn. What do you think? What other things that modern women say and do make you go your own way? Any stories you'd like to share? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching, if you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.